Hello, hello, and happy, happy Monday. Happy Labor Day. Um, for those of you who do are fortunate enough to have today off, I am very happy. Um, I want to wish you the best, and I hope that you have an amazing day. I was just silencing my phone because I didn't want any interruption, any interruptions. So I hope that you're having a fantastic weekend so far. My weekend was good. Um, didn't really do too much. I did have an event on Saturday um, that Dean Graciosi's team um, had presented here in Vegas, and it was it was interesting. I wasn't sure what to expect. I went with a good friend of mine, Angie, and it was good. I I, I enjoyed it. So it, I did learn something. And it was just nice to get out and, and do something outside of my wheelhouse, for example. So it was based all around real estate and investing and all that type of thing. So, you know, it's always good to learn new things, right? So today I want to talk to you about making yourself a priority because it is the most important thing that you can do for you today. If you don't make yourself a priority and level up in yourself and fill your cup personally, how can you be the best version of you for you? Well, let's go a step further. How can you be the best version of you for anyone else? So good morning. My name is Lessa Goodat, and I'm an empowerment coach. I help my clients learn to spot their triggers so that they can manage their emotions and get back to what's important, which is pursuing their dreams and aspirations and turning their visions for their lives into their realities. So today I wanted to talk to you about making yourself a priority and how important it is for you. So often I hear people say that they feel that they're being selfish when they focus on themselves and get in some me time. The thing is, me time is super important for you to live a healthy life that you love, a life that you love living. It's so important. If you don't love your life right now in the state that it's in right now, then maybe you need to take a look at how you've structured your life around how you take care of you because you're important. You're just as important as everyone else in your home. You should treat yourself as, you need to look at yourself as an individual outside of look, you know, leaving your body as an outer, outer body experience. And look at yourself as a member of your family, as a member of your tribe, as a member of your community. You're important. You need to look at, you, you need to look at yourself and really think about it. Or maybe it's all about everyone else and you get the scraps, you know, meaning if there's any time left over, then you'll reluctantly schedule in some time for yourself and feel guilty about it too. I know that can be easy to do, especially if you're a mom of small children. And I know a lot of women with, you know, that are maybe single parents or maybe they're in a relationship and they're still the one that everyone goes to. And that cannot be an easy task to schedule in time for yourself when you always have someone reaching for you and monopolizing your time. But I want to, I'm going to talk to moms today. Here's the thing, moms, you need to schedule in time for you, especially if you want to show up as the best version mom that you want to be and need to be for your children. And if you're married or have a significant other, you want to show up as the best version wife or significant other for your husband. You want to be the best version of you for your husband or your significant other. If you don't schedule in time for you, You'll start resenting the time that you're spending on others because you're going to feel gypped out of any quality time for yourself. And you may even finding, find yourself resenting those around you for taking up so much of your time, even your children. And I know that that is not what you want or ha nor how you want to feel. So moms, you do need to schedule in me time for you because it is super important for your overall well-being your health, and your happiness. And so that, again, you can show up as the best version mom and wife that you want to be every day. And now you're thinking, I know, okay, that sounds great. That sounds great, Leslie. But how do you expect me to do that when I'm busy running around with kids' activities, keeping a home, and having a demanding job? Because let's face it, most families have two working parents. Well, I did some research and found eight things you should consider for you to have more time for yourself and still be that super mom to your kids and the loving wife to your husband. And they make absolute sense and nothing that cannot be achieved. So here goes. Number one, schedule your me time 
and plan it just like you would when scheduling in a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment or any type of appointment. Even your Pilates or yoga class should be put into your calendar as an appointment with yourself. And make your me time non-negotiable. You do that for everyone else. Your kids' activities are non-negotiable. You, you, so you make time for them. Your, wife, your, your, your things at home that you have to do, get, you, know, you have to make dinner. You've got to help the kids with their homework, get them bathed, get to bed. Those are priorities, right? They're non-negotiable. You make them non-negotiable. So why can't you do that for you? Make your me time non-negotiable. Make yourself a priority. If you want to go for that yoga class or that chosen hour for yourself, make sure you put it on your calendar as an appointment that cannot be moved or canceled unless, of course, it's an emergency. Number two, decide what you need for your overall well-being. Is it going to be a yoga class to get out with other women to bond with? Or maybe it's a relaxing walk in the park or a hike on a trail that you love. Or maybe, maybe even planning yourself a mani-pedi or spa day. Maybe it's scheduling in time with your friends. Or maybe it's curling up with a book you've wanted to read for ages. And this is where your significant other can help you with this uninterrupted me time. You treat everyone else as though their time is special. So why not do the same for you? Number three, make sure you don't always put yourself last. Okay, don't take the time for yourself at midnight either. Make sure that you plan your me time so that you don't feel your last on the totem pole, and so it doesn't interfere with your overall health because get, you need a good night's sleep as well, just like everyone else. You need to learn to make it happen. Make yourself a priority. Number four, make sure your screen time isn't me time, okay? When scheduling in your me time, think about your nightly habits, you know, that may prevent you from taking your me time, such as your phone, being on social media. How much time do you spend online? Have you ever thought about it? Have you actually ever timed yourself? If you truly want to limit your time on social media and you're finding that sometimes you get caught up in stories, put a timer on your phone. Give yourself a set amount of time that you allow yourself to be scrolling through the social media feed to see what's going on. And when the alarm goes off, you close out of your social media, you turn off your phone, you, 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 know, you, you get out of your phone if that's where you're looking or you get off your laptop and you just give, yourself a, just give yourself a curfew around how much screen time you allow yourself, just like you do with your kids. If you have kids and you allow them on social media, how much time do you give them? Well, as an example, I know that someone in my family, this is what they did, for, for their kids to really um, appreciate and understand the importance of family time, they allowed their kids an hour each night for them to be online. And that was it, non-negotiable, one hour. And the kids started to learn that, you know, this is the time that I'm allowed, and then this is the time that we spend with our family. Anyway, that's what I would do if I had children. I would do the same thing. Number five. Turn off your electronic devices at a set time and make it non-negotiable. Turn your cell phone off every night. Make it a daily ritual, a habit, again, that's non-negotiable. And the same thing goes for your laptop. Close it down. You don't need to be on there. It's taking away from valuable me time that you could schedule in. Plus, if that's where you spend a lot of time, you're missing out on life that's going on around you. So make it a daily ritual, turn off your electronic devices every single day at a set time, non-negotiable, you're done for the day. Number six, learn how to say no. You can say it in a nice way, or maybe you're gonna say not right now, especially if you just can't fit in one more thing into your schedule, and then definitely you'll have no time for yourself. Trust me, the people in your life will always find a way to fill your time with their needs. You just need to make sure you also fill your time with your needs, okay? 
Number seven, super, super important rule. Don't let others make you feel guilty for taking time for you. Because guilt, <laughs> horrible feeling, right? You think, oh, I could be doing this or I could be doing this. And it's usually always based around serving someone else. But you need to actually look at you, how important you are. You are a very important piece in the, of the puzzle. And if you don't look at, after yourself, if you don't fill your cup, you're going to start feeling, have feelings of resentment and joy is going to go out of your life. Number eight, learn to use commuting time to your advantage. So maybe you drive to work. Maybe you're somewhere else in the world who takes uh, public transit. So you take time, take advantage of that time, commuting and listen to a podcast or an audio book or read a book if you actually are being driven because you're on public tra transit. There are so many great podcasts out there. There are so many great uh, audio, audio books that are out there. You can fill your cup that way. You know, for me, taking me time, I got on late today. Why? Because for me, my me time is non-negotiable. So I have to get all of that in. And it's not because I feel forced to do it, but it fills my cup. It makes me be the best version of me so that I can show up as that person for you. I can be the best version of me for you. And without my filling my cup, then I would resent the time that everyone else is looking to me to be online to fill their cup. To, um, you know, if I, if I didn't take care of me, I might be resentful of my husband who's always looking for me to fill his cup, you know, or, or the people around me, the, the friends, uh, clients, people who are looking to me to help them. If I don't look after me, I'm going to feel resentful of the time I spend on others. Again, me time is a necessity and you're not being selfish when you schedule in time for you. Even if you take five minutes to have a nice cup of coffee or tea, I'm having tea, that counts. You're taking time for you. And enjoy your cup of coffee. Enjoy your cup of, your, your cup of tea. Don't be multitasking doing many things. You're not going to enjoy it. It's like having a beautiful meal. You're at a, a restaurant and you're eating a beautiful meal. But instead of enjoying the meal and maybe the 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 person that you're with and enjoying the company and the conversation, the two of you are disconnected from each other. You've got these things out. You're scrolling through social media. You're not even tasting the food. And you're not even enjoying each other and learning about each other and, and you know, enjoying the moment. So take the moment to really enjoy what you're doing and make sure that you are filling your cup so that you are the best version of you every single day so that you're not resenting others when they come to you and they say like, mommy, mommy, I need you for this. Or, or mom, uh, um, wife, I, I, I need your help with this. Or uh, as an employee, um, I'll just say the name, Karen, I need you to do this. Right. You, you need to be able to be able to manage your time so that you're filling your cup and that you feel that you're not being taken advantage of. So my final word is this, if you're wanting to make New Year's resolutions, which I know most of us are, because it just seems like a brand new year is coming, new possibilities, what can happen? I've got big dreams for this year. You know, 2020, a lot of people are already thinking about 2020 and we're not even there yet. So if you're one again, to make New Year's resolutions, think about making a now resolution to yourself to make yourself a priority. Your future self will thank you for it. Make sure that you're not always last on the list. Don't feel guilty for taking time for you. Me time is a way to refuel, re-energize, and recharge your batteries so that you can be the best you every day. When you make time for you and you fulfill your needs, you can then look after everyone else, your children, your spouse, be more present in your job, be more present in your relationships with your friends and family because you are making sure that your overall well-being is looked after, that you're making yourself a priority. Remember, you can't give to others 
if you don't look after yourself and give time to yourself first. That saying, they say happy wife, happy life. Well, I actually think it's, remember this, happy life equals happy life. So if you're doing things for you so that you level up you and you're the best version of you going out into the world, then you're going to feel really good about serving other people, about giving to others. So what I did for me, well, I decided, you know, I wasn't taking, I wasn't making myself a priority. There was a time in my life I wasn't making myself a priority. And what did I do? Well, I decided I'm going to start making time for me, non-negotiable time, meaning that I'm not going to be interrupted with this time. I'm going to schedule it when it's, it suits me best. I am going to make sure that I'm filling my cup. I'm going to make sure that my needs are met first so that I could be the best version of me to serve others, to be, the, to be a, a more present and, and beautiful and kind and generous person uh, to my friends, to be a better wife, you know, all of those things. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining. All of those things, because it was important for me, my me time was important. If I didn't schedule in my me time, and make myself a priority. I cannot tell you with, uh, with confidence if I would be sitting here today it, with confidence in my life, with, with joy in my life, with gratitude in my life, um, with my mindset being right. You know, and maybe I'd still be letting my emotions manage me because I was that person. Anyways, that's what I did and it's worked for me. That's where I'm at. So again, as I said, me time's important. If you learn to schedule in your me time, decide what you need and make sure you don't always put yourself last. Make sure that you uh, limit your screen, screen time because, and don't make, allow, allow screen time to be your me, your me time because it's not quality time for yourself. You're not leveling up for you. Turn off your electronic devices at a set time every day and make it out a non-negotiable. And that includes maybe if you have family, everyone. You wanna spend time with your family? No screen time at all. Turn off the phones. Everyone has a phone these days, even your children. Get off the laptops. Learn how to say no or not right now because maybe you just don't have the time to fit another thing in because you don't want to fit so many things in that you don't have time for you. Definitely do not let others make you feel guilty for taking time for yourself. If you allow that, you'll never take time for yourself. Hello. And learn to use commu uh, your commuting time to your advantage. So if you do drive to work every day, listen to an audio. If you don't have like, if you you don't have a CD player, that's fine. You can use your phone. You turn your phone to an, a podcast or to an audio, an audio book and listen as you drive and make sure it's something that's going to fill your cup. It's going to make you feel good about you. If you draw, if you take public transit, the same thing. You can listen. Put your your uh, headphones in. Um, or even to, um, you can listen to a podcast. There's am amazing podcasts out there. My personal favorites are Tony Robbins. I love his podcast, Dean Graciosi, uh, Project Me with Tiffany, Be uh, That 1%, uh, How to Be a Baddie. Um, there's like great podcasts. Uh, there's just so many. And those are the ones that I'm gravitating towards right now. And they're amazing. Yes, it is super important for you to take time for yourself if you are not kind to you, how can you be kind to others? It's just a simple fact. It's just a simple fact. And it's all about how we manage us before we can manage others. It's how we manage our emotions. Because look, if you don't take time for you, how are you going to manage your emotions? Because your emotions are going to manage you, especially if you're a busy mom with young kids, you're running around doing things for others, you're married, you have your spouse, you've got your, your time at home, you've got to look after your kids' activities after, after school, you've got to look after feeding them, you have to make sure they do their homework, you have to make sure they get to bed, and after that, then you got to schedule in a little bit of time to spend with your significant other so that they feel connected to you, and then after that, you need to make sure that you spend, in, make sure that you spend some time with you, with you, just you alone. So if you can't do it at night, then find ways during your day. If you work and your kids are at school, find ways during your day, your lunch hour, go for a walk, reconnect with nature, reconnect with you. This is what I'm trying to say. Make yourself a priority. 
so that you can be the best person for you because that's important. You're number one. Don't feel bad about saying that you're number one, okay? Your family and your children are going to benefit from you putting yourself first because you're putting yourself first to make sure that you leveled up to being the best version of you so that going forward, when your kids are like saying, mommy, mommy, I need you, or your husband or wife are saying to you, honey, I need you for this, or someone at work is asking you, hey, I need you for this, you are going to feel like, okay, I've looked after me. I can now serve others and I can look after them and not feel resentful because, you know, I was, I can give you an example. I was feeling resentful at, at a, to a time in my life where I was feeling like everyone had their hand out for something and I didn't have anyone hand with their hand out to give me something. And I thought, you know what? It doesn't come from other people. It comes from me looking within and filling my own cup with ways to make me feel good about me so that I can serve others. Okay. So that is what I wanted to talk to you about today on this Labor Day, um, starting a fresh month, getting it, uh, finishing a quarter or actually, yeah, uh, finishing out this quarter. <laughs> We're going to be starting a new quarter soon. Uh, it's amazing how fast this year has gone by. I can't believe it. Uh, we're September 2nd. Uh, and it just kind of blows my mind. I feel like we just said Happy New Year. <laughs> For me, at least, it just seems like this year has flown by. So I hope that you uh, got something out of this today. If you know someone who needs to hear this, then I encourage you, please, to share this video. Please help me help others. Because sometimes people forget about themselves. They forget that in order for their lives to, to run a little more smoothly, for their environment to be a little bit more uh, a happier environment, to have more positive encounters with uh, engagements with other people, uh, just to have a better life. A lot of the time people forget that they're an integral piece of the puzzle, that without you being the best you, everything else won't work. You know, it's you need a, for something to work that needs a battery. Well, you need to put a and the battery's dead. Well, what do you got to do? You got to change the battery, right? Right. Well, you for you to work well, you need to look at you and make sure that you're taking care of you first, so that everything else around you will work better as well, right? That's that's what I'm trying to get to. So make yourself a priority. Go out and do start doing that today. If you haven't started, make sure that you do that. If people make you feel guilty. Let them watch my video today so they can understand why you're making yourself a priority. Because maybe they need to also learn that it's okay for them to make themselves a priority. It's not about just you being the best mom or the best dad. It's about even your kids being the best versions of themselves so that they can show up as that person every day as well. So this is something you can teach your kids as well, making sure that they schedule in their time to level up for them so that the whole family, the whole family unit works well together. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for you today. This is something I'm going to be talking more about in my VIP group, which launched yesterday. Super excited. So if you haven't, if you haven't uh, heard about it, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about it now. It's all about community. It's all about working on you and getting yourself to go on this self growth, uh, self, um, this journey about uh, learning about who you are and leveling up, bettering yourself, learning to spot your triggers so you can manage your emotions, and then getting back to what's important, which is living your life, the life that you love, right? And so that's what my group is all about. And uh, I will post uh, the link in the notes below. But again, what I would do today is, if you haven't made yourself a priority, it's time that you started doing that. Start taking some me time, making me time, and make it a priority, non-negotiable. Make sure that if you have a calendar and you schedule in your appointments, just like your doctors and your dentists and your therapists and all of that stuff, if you schedule in all that time and that's non-negotiable, then you can do the same for yourself. And even if it's not uh, every single day where you've got a yoga class or a Pilates class or um, some type of hike at some amazing trail, just make sure that through this week, one thing every day, try and figure out what would work for me to start making me feel good about myself so that I feel 
better about serving others. You know, serve yourself first so that you can be the best of service to others. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please share this video and help me help others. Again, my name is Leslie Gadette. I am an empowerment coach. I help my clients learn to spot their triggers so that they can manage their emotions and get back to what's really important, which is pursuing their dreams and aspirations and turning their lives, the, the visions for their lives into their realities to start living the life that they love and loving the life that they live. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.